my idea of power, it's not about this kind of grand thing of political or war or something. It's on a very individual level. And the idea for me comes from, from Nietzsche and his idea of the will to power, which he explains as all every organism has a desire to expand itself, has a desire for expansion. And so I think that for human beings, the desire that we, we have this innate uh, propensity for wanting to expand beyond our limits. We want to feel like we have some degree of ability to influence other people, that we can control our own career and learn more and develop greater skills and have more kind of power and influence in our life. The feeling that I cannot have any power or influence over my children, my spouse, my colleagues, my boss, my career in general, is deeply, deeply unsettling for the human animal and causes all kinds of attempts at what I call negative power, passive aggression, etc. So setting yourself up as a victim to kind of leverage power in a negative way. I try to remove the kind of taboo or the negative associations we have with the word like power or with the word ambition. You know, I try and say ambition is a good thing. It means that you have you you believe in yourself, you 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 have some self-love and you believe you're worth something and you want to go out and achieve and, and, and create something worthwhile for other people. So ambition is a is a positive thing. But so many people are just kind of embarrassed about being a human being, embarrassed about our primate nature, embarrassed about our own aggressive impulse. I understand the kind of the pain that a lot of people have in the work world which is sort of hard for a lot of other people who don't have that kind of experience to understand how deeply frustrating it can be when you have a job that you're not satisfied with. I wanted to help people with the 48 laws of power. When these things kind of happen, you get very confused and they create a kind of trauma in your life where you sometimes blame yourself or you wonder maybe you did something wrong and you become a little bit skittish. And you, you, you get a little bit afraid in your next job. And these things kind of linger on in your mind. That kind of clarity can be very, very empowering. People will always wear the, the mask of being agreeable and friendly. Even the most psychotic boss will always know how to be somewhat charming and present themselves. But you look at how they treat other people when you're not observing them behind closed doors. And that's when some of their ugly behavior will come out. They kind of hide it very well from, from, from the public. A lot of times I look at people in, in the public eye who get caught doing something really stupid, like you say. And their first thing will be, well, that wasn't me that did it. I don't know what came over me. Yeah, that's, yeah. Not, that's not who I am. But that is exactly who you are. That is a person who has been carrying this resentment and this kind of inner anger, but not acting upon it. And then suddenly they do something really stupid, like having an affair with a 21-year-old. They're actually hiding the opposite. They're actually very, very riddled with insecurities. They're not, you know, and they're, they're, they're kind of create this sort of bravado and this false front. And they go to an extreme to kind of project this machismo when in fact they're riddled with insecurities and that's their way of dealing with it. Someone like 50 Cent, he was very, he's very comfortable with himself. He knows who he is. He knows where he came from. His mother was a hustler on the streets. So he knew the limits of the game. And I don't know, I think there is maybe a slight genetic component to it. I can't really put my finger on it. why he was able to have this kind of self-control where other people do. Yeah. Jung talks about this, is that that dark side contains a lot of energy. It contains a lot of power. They're not aware of the awesomeness of just the fact of being alive, of the cosmos as it evolved, as, as things on earth evolve the way they are. And so I'm kind of, I'm kind of angry uh, a little bit about how, about how people are just, not aware of this, not